Hey everybody, welcome back. Oh, the winds are coming right out. To MSNBC special coverage happening right now as we come on the air, Hurricane Idalia is just getting stronger as the hours go by. Just like at 7 p.m., it's still a category two and it is giving us 110 mile per hour winds over west by Tampa. As for here in Orlando, it is eerily quiet. Uh, the winds are here blowing around, but as I'm about to tell you this story, Orlando is in a little bit of a grace period before the storm is moving north. It's moving north at 18 miles per hour, which is fast, faster than earlier today. So let me get you to the latest track from in the studio. Yeah, everyone, I want to give you the latest track that we're getting right here on NBC News and MSNBC. We have the track here, where, which is um, Category 2, but forecast at 2 a.m. It is 10 p.m. right now to become a Category 3. We can see what our impacts are now. Orlando is right about here, and you can see literally the, these bands. We're probably going to get maybe one of these bands, and it's going to be a couple hours until that happens. So here's the track once again. Some of the tracks are saying it's going to loop around but we are are not seeing that right now um i they are expected between now and 2 a.m that category three mark that it's going to do something called rapid intensification so that's something we're also going to have to watch in this case so it's really interesting to see um, but there is not a lot happening right here um, but we're going to have more coverage right now yeah, and like I said, we are really in a period of no bans, and they are really coming. It's going to take a few hours before they really get here, and the storm is rapidly intensifying, possibly. It could come faster. Uh, this rain could be sooner rather than later. Now let's get to some of the risks for people here in Central Florida. That is a tornado risk. So if you look at this graphic from our NBC affiliate, West 2 News in Orlando, the tornado warnings are in the counties west of me. But as the hours go by, they could spread into Seminole and Orange counties. But as for right now, we're under a tropical storm warning. While, it, while the cone is shrinking, it's really important to take all of this in and to just be aware as to what's going on. All right, from the calm before the storm, I'm Braden Shanks reporting from Orlando. Please, if you are in the path of this storm, be safe and stay tuned to your local news coverage for the latest updates on Hurricane Adalia. We are waiting for that 11 p.m. advisory to come out and I'll get you that right when it comes out. But for right now, we are here in Orlando. MSNBC's coverage continues. I'm hearing some thunder. <laughs> I will see you very soon.